You've seen the orange vice here on the channel. Now things are about to get more interesting. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. That's right, the orange vice is literally the ultimate bench vise. It's precision, it's got precision bearings, it tilts, it swivels, it's got replaceable jaws, and that is the subject of this video. We're gonna take a look at the Area 419 maintenance and barrel change vice jaw kit. Let's see what's included. This is a really nice set and it's available in kit form as you see here or in combination with the orange vise itself. And what we've got here, these are the bushings for barrel change and then we've got each of the vise jaws and these are going to be quick change. We loosen these screws and these screws, the original soft jaws pop out and these are going to pop in and that is what we're going to do next. So the thing I love about the orange vise is how easy it is to remove and replace jaws. Like I stated previously, we just take a 5.30 seconds Allen key, remove the clamps and these guys just pop right out. And this is my first time trying out the Area 419 vise jaws in this vise. So we'll see if it's just as easy. Knowing the guys at Area 419, I'm guessing they got this down. <laughs> yep, see that suck in, it's pretty cool. Good on that side. It's a little locating pin here. It just kind of snaps into place if you can see that. And then we tighten the clamp on the other side. And the maintenance kit part of this is Picatinny and Arca, which is, is pretty neat. So we can take a rifle like this 22 GT. It's got a full length Arca rail built into the XLR element chassis. And then it's got Picatinny on the top of this bat bumblebee action. So if we set this down, we can just use the outer clamping surfaces for this. Look at that, look at how solid that is. Love that. This is a great solution for something like mounting a scope, mounting M-lock accessories, uh, tightening in this Salmon River Solutions brake, which has a jam nut. It only needs a little bit of torque, so this is fine to have it torquing like that. Uh, and then just kind of any other sort of work. Now, if we flip this upside down, we can use the inner clamping surfaces. I'm just going to line this up so it gets the front and the rear there. Okay, now we've got the rifle inverted and we could do something like a trigger swap. Uh, we could work on the barreled action separately. Totally love how this is and it's just so, so solid. Okay, so that's the maintenance part. Next, let's look at a barrel swap. So the vice jaw kit comes with a set of bushings. These bushings are V-block, which is kind of universal. We've got one inch, 1.2 inch, and 1.25 inch. What I've got here is a rifle action and a couple of barrels. What we'll do is we'll install the barrel and then remove the barrel to kind of show the complete process. Both of these barrels here, one of which we'll use for the demo, have 1.25 inch shank diameter. Now this is the cool thing about this solution is that we just slide these in and they're gonna click when they get into place. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a spring-loaded ball bearing and it just clicks right into place. And they actually click into the storage tray as well. You can see that. Which is kind of a nice, nice retention system. I love the uh, attention to detail with that for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna take a barrel. What is this? This is one that I turned. It's a 25 Creedmoor. We're gonna wrap it with some drywall tape. Looks like this one has been used a couple times. And I'm gonna insert the barrel from this side so that you guys can see over on the other side when we uh, tighten the action down. That looks pretty decent right there. Okay. That is very, very solid feeling. 
Okay, so if we can find it, let's get some TW25B. Put that on the barrel threads. I like this stuff quite a bit. That looks good. We'll take the action, spin it on. This is a Terminus Zeus, so we've got a special three lug. Uh, I'm gonna reposition this just a little bit. There we go. Ah, this is the nice thing about this vise. Okay, that's that's actually clocked pretty well. I'm proud of that. <laughs> okay, we've got our torque wrench, which is set to 90 foot pounds, right where I like it. And we're gonna get our action wrench in. It's got a top label on there, which is nice. And then got a socket and go ahead and torque that down. Okay, it looks like we need a little bit more vice clamping force, not a problem. Okay, good to go. Now we could, of course, check our headspace. That would be a good thing to do with a go gauge and a no-go gauge. However, it is that we like to do that. I'm going to clamp that down just a little bit more. And then when it comes time to loosen the action, that's easy enough. Again, with our action wrench, goes right back in. We'll go ahead and just loosen that. Pop it. Out comes the barrel, and we're right back where we started. So I think you can see just how versatile this kit is. We pop these out, we're back to our maintenance mode. And yeah, this, this set definitely feel like this is the kind of tooling that I like to have in the shop. Organization, multifunction, and the precision of this orange vise. This is gonna see a lot of use. What I'd like to know from you is, what do you think about the Area 419 maintenance and barrel change jaw kit for the orange vise? Is this the kind of tool that you'd like to have in your shop? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.